Hi, my name is Irene Marshall, and I've been helping people get jobs for 20 years. I love it. I started as a recruiter, and now I'm a resume writer and a coach. I've worked with a lot of people who have a real dilemma in terms of looking for work. If you don't have experience, how do you get the job, but how do you get the job without having experience? That can be really frustrating, trying to figure out how to get past that. So some people might have a family-owned business that it makes sense they can come into that business, get some experience, and then move on from there and um, move to the next step in your career. But not everybody has that as an opportunity. So I want to talk about three different ways that what companies want to hire somebody who's entry level. So then you can understand how to approach those companies. I want to talk about it specifically in terms of connection with education. Are you going to school right now? Maybe you've recently completed your degree. So I want to talk about, about the difference between education and starting entry level work. So the number one reason that a company will be interested in you, if you are in school, you have made a commitment. You have made a commitment to invest in yourself. You've decided what type of profession you want to go to. Um, it takes time, it takes money, it takes focus. You might be taking on student debt, but a company knows that if you are in school, if you're getting an education, or if you're getting some sort of professional training, you are committed. And that's one of the reasons the company is going to be interested in you. The second reason is time management. It is as basic as that. Can you manage your school not be up till four in the morning to finish an assignment because then you have to be at work at eight in the morning. The company wants to know that, um, do you manage your time? Can you set priorities? Do you know how to get things done efficiently? Just that one thing is going to be helpful for a company wanting to hire you into an entry level position. The third thing is, Sometimes a company has it set up, they've already decided they want entry level people. So they have it set up in that organization. So the way you know that is because of how they name the job postings. It might be just saying entry level accountant, entry level human resources. It might say internship, paid or uh, unpaid. If you're in the skilled trades, it might say apprenticeship. But if you see that type of a posting, that is an indicator that the company wants people to come in who are entry level. Now, two things will happen though in an interview. The first one is that the company, the interviewer, has to believe that you have potential, has to believe that you will come in with excitement, with energy, with a willingness to learn, a willingness to kind of do what needs to be done. They have to know that you have potential to really grow within, the, within your job and within the company. But you also are getting a paycheck, so you have to be able to do work right now, even though it's entry level work, in order to accommodate that you're actually still working there. So those are the three reasons. If a company knows that you're committed into your profession, if you can manage your time, and um, if you are willing to learn and you have potential and you really want to be able to do this, that's part of what an interviewer is going to be looking for when they interview you. So. When you're looking for work, look for those job titles, entry-level accountant, entry-level human resources. Companies really do have that as they're trying to position the type of role that they want. Now, I am a job search coach. Um, part of what I do is to help people find different opportunities so I can help you research and try to find those entry-level um, positions that would work for you. I'm also a resume writer, so then I can help you write a resume that reflects that. Yes, you don't have very much experience, but you have all these other reasons, which is why a company should be interested in hiring you. So if you'd like to talk, um, there's no charge for initial consultation. Go to my website, which is toolsfortransition.com. My name is Irene Marshall, and uh, let's talk about how I can help you get the foot in the door for your first real job. I look forward to hearing from you, and I hope we hear back. Thanks.